Okay guys, a new update on my uh, Drizzler. Um, I am testing right now uh, my new back filter and uh, the PyroTouch agitator. Now, uh, what you see here is the filtered flare and uh, this big tube here is the back filter. I can uh, put it on and on, on and off by means of uh, those valves one two and in the back you can't see it three i was also testing my uh, pyro touch uh, agitator now he agitates well but uh, the pyro touch function doesn't uh, seems to work because the micro switch here is burned by the heat i must put it uh, in another spot anyway uh, I drizzle manually now, so uh, let's uh, put some fuel in. Okay, fuel is in. And let's now see what happens uh, to the flare when I uh, uh, shut down the, the filter. Okay, have a look. One, two, three. Unfiltered flare. Now, opposite, one, two, three, and slowly, slowly, the filter is doing his job. Okay, that was an update. One important thing uh, to know also is how much uh, under pressure this filter system uh, gives me. Well, let's go to the under pressure sensor. Have a look. Under pressure is oh wonderful, nice zero. Okay, nice, uh, nice big flare. Look at this. It's uh, let me see. It's a little bit wind now. I cannot. Uh, must wait a moment for it's stable. Well, I guess it's something like. Uh, hmm between uh, 80 centimeters and uh, one meter okay that was uh, an update thank you for watching and to the next uh, video hey folks it's been some uh, while since i posted the last uh, video that was due to the fact that I was encountering a uh, problem with the PyroTouch compactor. The previous PyroTouch compactor, although it uh, could be uh, regulated for a few grams, uh, compacted too much my uh, reduction zone. So we got, after three, four hours, uh, so compacted that uh, barely any gas could go through. The other problem was <coughs> when the uh, feeder fed in, it throws only at uh, one side. And on one side I had uh, almost an empty burn, on the other side there was uh, fresh wood. So uh, I decided uh, that I must have something that uh, not only sensed the heat, uh, did not compact it so much, but um, also uh, even up uh, the flaming pyrolysis zone. Now I've come up with this thing. It consists out of uh, two pieces driven by a windscreen gear motor. Here is uh, a plate that um, when it turns it always touches the uh, micro switch and here I have the actually movement. When uh, this thing is always going around and um, always even up the zone. When uh, fuel gets in, uh, when fuel gets empty, then it's hanging up like this and it, uh, that plate touches the micro switch. When uh, fuel comes in, then it turns like this. It makes go up this wheel and if we see there, it may move upwards the uh, 
um, board which uh, ignite or not ignite the micro switch. Um, this is the second part. It's, uh, this goes on top of the drizzler. Here is the holder for the micro switch and this thing goes inside here and can be adjusted according to the height you want to, uh, to uh, have your drizzle zone. Okay, that's the mechanics. Now in uh, practice I will uh, test it and uh, show you a video in uh, working order. Stay with me and uh, see the next part. Thank you.